What's up everyone? Thank you so very much for clicking on this video. My name is Lou and today we're going to be discussing the power known as aerokinesis or air manipulation. This power is stupidly busted and I gotta tell you, for me personally, I didn't know it was as broken until after researching this video. We'll be going over the good, the bad, and the ugly, as well as me providing you with an overall score for this power and giving you my best and worst user. So if that's something that you might be into, please stick with me to the end of the video. And with that out of the way, let's stop kicking the tires and just dive right in. Aerokinesis is simply put, it's the power to create, shape, and manipulate air. Although there should be an asterisk on creating air because, I mean, technically they live within an atmosphere and atmosphere is just basically oxygen and nitrogen. It's weird, I don't know. I don't know how they get created out of that, but we're moving on. So with the ability of air manipulation or aerokinesis, of course you can fly, I mean, that's a given but there's so much more than that. Uh, the user is also granted pressure manipulation with the air. They can create pressure and crush things. Take that, you rock. Because of your ability to shape air, you actually can create constructs, air, aerokinetic constructs, such as, I don't know, like, like ships or whatever, whatever constructs. Think like Green Lantern with air. Just think about it like that. You also have the ability to increase your strength overall because you can aerokinetically manipulate an, uh, an object's weight, not manipulate the weight, but manipulate the air around an object and then, you know, make it light as a feather, whatever you want to do. It also increases your senses, like your feeling, your, your feelings. It increases things like your sense of touch by sensing things or different or disturbances in the air. You can increase the, the range of your, your sensation of touch. You have like air manipulation where you can actually control objects. Like for instance, if there's a, if there's a remote right over here, I can manipulate the air around the remote and lift the remote and bring it to me. So you have the ability to like use telekinesis in a way. So like that's kind of crazy. There are also things like repel. You can repel projectiles by manipulating the air around them. You also can increase the speed at which you travel or move at because you can cut down the air resistance that your body actually feels or you know experiences and use air to super boost yourself like by propulsion so you can actually move incredibly fast with this power so you already got super strength and super speed and a form of telekinesis so it's got three powers in one you're a god essentially this power is just a god ability this power basically gives you limited reality manipulation because like i said we live within a, we live within an atmosphere so air is all around us and you control all of it you can do whatever you want and that makes you basically unstoppable but not completely unstoppable because there there are weaknesses one of the limitations is of course like i said i had an asterisk on creating air because i really don't know how that really works but for my knowledge you would have to have an atmosphere because you couldn't create air in a vacuum there's there's no air to like create you couldn't do anything you couldn't manipulate what's not there so that's a weakness that we got to talk about like without any air you don't have any power all right just think of it like that there's also the fact that there's a learning curve. With any superpower, you're gonna to have to learn how it works, how not to destroy the entire town. Like we think, oh cool, I'll just create i I'll just create a tornado, or I'll just, you know, spin like a top and you know make myself into a, a tornado. Or I'll just, you know, fly. But people don't understand that there's gonna be a learning curve with that and you might not have the control you, you initially want. So you have to you essentially have to grow with this power. And you gotta realize air is extremely dangerous, so there's that. There's also the fact that you have ability users who can completely negate your power, such as fire manipulators or electricity manipulators. It's like when you're fighting somebody, if you're sparring somebody, your punches are coming at you. You know how to slip punches, you know how to roll with the punches and like counter, but like when somebody's just pressuring into you, just you freak out. So you gotta develop that. But for now, I'm gonna put it as a weakness because I mean, like I said, air just makes the fire stronger, makes it bigger. Uh, we have users, and I, I haven't seen every media, so I haven't seen Black Clover. I know there's a character, I think his name is Yuno. He's, I want to see, I'm, I'm going to watch Black Clover eventually. I'm going to watch it. I just, I feel like I'm so far behind right now, and I have to catch up on things like Hajime no Ippo and, and, and One Piece again. Like, it's, it's a lot. So, please, just, if I don't mention your character in this listing, I'm sorry. Just, you know, hit me up with a comment down there, like, maybe suggest a, a, a series I should watch with a character with similar powers. I don't, I don't mind. I'll, I'll put it on the list. Anyway, so you have characters like, of course, you have Aang, you have Tenzin, you have the airbenders from Avatar the Last Airbender, you have Zaheer, I think he's a goat of airbending. You have characters like Jin, the Windmaster from Yu Yu Hakusho. You have characters like Storm and Thor from Marvel. You have Red Tornado and Cyclone from DC. 
You have Linka from Cap Captain Planet. You have Raymundo from Shaolin Showdown. You have all these other characters, possibly Dragon from One Piece. We'll say it, possibly Dragon from One Piece. There's just so many people with this ability. It's absolutely insane. So now I want to get into like some of my some of my opinions, my overall opinions of this power. And what I do is I break them down to five categories. Those categories being versatility, creativity, you have destructive capacity, combat potential, and daily use. Those are the five categories I go off when I make these videos because I want to like, because these are the categories I feel like are most important to me. And these are, like I said, clearly these are my opinions and my scores. So if you feel different, just let me know. But like I said, these are just how I feel. So we're just going to kick things off with versatility. For me, this power is extremely versatile. I don't see how it couldn't be as versatile, especially with the fact that you wouldn't be able to see tax come in. The fact that you can fly, increase your strength, increase your speed, increase a large majority of your senses. You know, come on. You're basically Superman. Everybody knows if you have the option to be Superman, you're going to be Superman. The powers are just so, so amazing. Plus the fact that you don't have to touch anybody. You can use the air to mess with, like, mess somebody up. Or think of it like this. Travel would be so easy. In any case, for me, for versatility, I have to go with a 10 out of 10. It's, I just don't see it get any lower. Like the ability to manipulate essentially the entire like world or basically manipulate the world in, a, in this way. It's just, come on, how, how could you not be versatile with this? Moving on from there, we're going to talk about the creativity. See, I'm, I'm a little bit less on the creative side. Like this is me because I'm thinking like if, you know, a meteor struck the planet and I got this power as mine and, you know, whatever. For me, I don't know how creative I can be. I've seen like course I've seen different animes and I've seen different shows where characters had this ability and they've been pretty creative especially like you know characters like a uh, Choco McDowell from Shaman King who can like use it to erode things he can use his air manipulation to erode things or you know you got characters like Aang who create like air scooters or he can do like crazy tricks like with marbles and you got characters like Zaheer who you know sucks the oxygen out of people's head you know there's crazier like people who can do things oh Jin Jin from Yu Hakusho creating tornadoes localized tornadoes in his arm and firing them off and they don't even have to touch you just going near you causes you to just jettison this way just blast you away I, there's a lot of creative aspects to this power but I don't know if I'm that creative or I'm I'm pretty creative but I don't have the confidence to say I'm as creative to be high high up there like I don't think I could be as creative with this power as somebody else but for me, I'm just going to give it a 7 out of 10. Yeah, because I don't feel like I'm as creative with this ability, but I do feel like there, there's a there's an ability to grow with it because I do believe your creativity can grow with, with proper use. All right, moving on from there, we have destructive capacity. Now, like I just mentioned, you can create tornadoes and hurricanes and crush things by increasing the, the air pressure on them. Yeah, it's a 10. Like, it's obviously a 10. There's no reason it wouldn't be anything lower than a 10, like anything lower than that. Because you are a god. You're Fuijin. Combat potential is power. It's also getting a 10 out of 10. There is no way this wouldn't get a 10 out of 10. It's, I mean, like I said, you're a god. You're a walking nuclear deterrent. There's no reason you should get any lower than the 10. There's no reason for that. Like I said, let me know in the comments. Finally, let's move on to my final category, which is daily use. On the daily use aspect, I just, I'm sorry. I would use this all the time. I would use it every day. I use it at my job. I would use it to be lazier. I would use it to, honestly, we all know the dream. I had a dream I was flying. Oh, man, I wish I could fly. Everybody says it. We're all basic. We all would want to fly. And, and yeah, you would want to fly or move faster or, you know, if you didn't have to grab something, you could just, like, use the air to manipulate it and just bring it to you. Who wouldn't use that? It's a 10 out of 10. That brings our score to a 47 out of 50, which gives an A plus level on superpowers. I just can't go any lower than that. If it was a 50, if, I really want to put it at 50 out of 50 because I believe it's S tier because like I said, it's a God level power, but I know that I'm not as creative as I would like to be. So I have to go a little bit lower just to be on the fair side. But yeah, 47 out of 50, really good. So yeah, A plus ability, no doubt in my mind. Okay. so. This is the moment of video I love to talk about the most, my best and my worst user. And I don't mean worse like these users just suck. I don't mean that because, you know, everybody had like different fan bases and different like, you know, universes. It just depends. Like 
It doesn't mean if I mention your favorite character or I don't mention your favorite character, I don't mean that they suck or they're, they're worse off than the other characters. I just seen other characters display a little bit better or have better displays or whatever. But yes, yeah, these are just my opinions. Like I said, nobody needs to get triggered. For me, the worst user, I'm going worst to like worst is first, as you know, always Sunny has it. Worst is first. And to me, I like Captain Planet. I love Captain Planet. And the character of Linka, yeah, the I believe she's from the Soviet Union, or I think she's Russian. I can't remember. But she had it in a ring. She used the power of wind in her from her ring. And look, I'm not saying like using an item, because you know, I have Tyson up here as well, Tyson for Beyblade, but come on. He has a dragon in his in his Beyblade that creates like tornadoes and hur hurricanes, like real hurricanes. Everything I can remember her doing in that series wasn't nearly as impressive as some of the other characters. Like, go honestly, if she was in any other series, who is she beating with that? Who who is she really beating? Power of Wind, and she just like makes a gust of wind and knock you down. She's not beating characters like Zaheer. She's not beating characters like Aang. So yeah, I'm sorry. Nothing against Captain Planet fans. Nothing against her as a character. But I just feel she's the weakest of this of these groups. Because I mean, she's not fighting anybody on on equal footing. Now that brings us to our best user. For me, the best user, and this is just my opinion, is Jin from Yu Yu Hakusho. I've mentioned him a couple times in this video. I just really like his character. Plus, I feel that he's had some of the best displays. I mean, for instance, he created tornadoes. He's repelled a spirit gun, like point, like bam, just repelled it, and that's a pretty powerful attack. He's created small, you know, arm arm sized tornadoes in his fist, double. And he create like explosions with it. Like, come on, man. And he can fly. He didn't have the same learning curve that Zahir did. He didn't have to abandon his like, you know, all his worldly like desires or worldly possessions. He didn't have to lose out everything. He could just fly. And he can fly like stupid fast. So yeah, to me, Jin is the best user. Now, granted, that's just my opinion. I haven't seen everything, but to me, he's just the best user of this power. Like everything I've seen from him is just impressive. Now, we don't get a lot from him, but every time he's on screen, he just does something cool. So to me personally, out of everything I have seen, he is the best user. But if you feel differently, like I said with my, my uh, stats, you can just let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so very much for joining me in this video today. I enjoyed researching this video as well as like, you know, seeing the different characters like interact and all that stuff. It's just cool. I really didn't realize how cool this power is and how much importance it's played in like, at least my adolescence and childhood or how many characters I really like with this power. If you're interested in seeing more of my content, somewhere on screen there should be a, you know, a box or whatever little icon you click on to my last video. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun. I go to a telepathy. It's just a blast. I liked it. I'm really proud of that video as well. And hope to see you soon in the next video. Until next time, thank you and peace.